Today I want to show you around this Chaparral 235 SSI Sports Cutty. This boat was um, built in 2004. It's fitted with a Yanmar diesel engine, a 240 horsepower stern drive diesel engine, which is pretty unusual in a boat like this. It's also only run 117 hours from new. It's a one owner boat with all the proper paperwork. It's on a UK trailer. It's in immaculate condition. It's a really fantastic example of one of these uh, 23 foot cutties. Great family day boat, overnighter, weekender and um, it's just a very good all-rounder. The Chaparral, so they're a high quality boat with lots of nice uh, details and touches. So we've got a stainless steel rub rail on her, big chunky stainless steel plates, nice stainless steel handrails. It's a self bailing deck on this boat as well, so it's a very good sea boat. Coming all the way back to the stern, engine room vents are in perfect condition. The Chaparral, uh, raised chrome letters are in good order. Nice um, Atlantic blue gel coat, hull color stripe. We've got a little GPS antenna and a VHF. Aerial out here, all in good condition. Engine room vent on this side is great. We've got deck scuppers on this boat. As I said, she's a self bailing deck, so um, the, any rain water will run out of her um, through those scuppers. This boat is um, just under, a shade under 23 foot long to the, um, the back of the transom, and she's 8 foot 6 inches wide, so it's a big, substantial boat. It's actually rated to carry 10 passengers, which is fairly unusual in a boat of that size, but you know, you can cram a couple of families on board with ease. We've got this big integrated swim platform, probably a couple of feet deep, all molded and on skid with a nice Chaparral logo laid into the deck there. We've got a, a nice chunky stainless steel handrail across the center of the transom. We've got this integrated ski towing out here as well, so if you want to pull skiers and stuff, you can do that. The cockpit layout on this boat is fantastic. You've got that nice, simple, uh, easy transom walkthrough to get into the cockpit. And then once you're in here, we've got a huge big L-shaped lounger in the port side. And then we've got a um, pedestal style helm seat and front passenger seat that they can both rotate around and uh, face your rear seat passengers. It's a fully uh, molded fiberglass floor in the cockpit. It's also self bailing so if any rainwater finds its way in here, it'll automatically bail overboard. It just runs through the scuppers in the, in the back corners of the cockpit. So it's an, that's a nice safety feature if you're leaving the boat in the water or if you're using it around the coast or whatever. It's always nice to have a self bailing deck. The, uh, there's a table that mounts in here around that L-shaped lounger. It also drops down and you can, there's an infill cushion to make that up in the sun pad, which I'll show you in a wee minute. Uh, we've had a beautiful dash over on the starboard side. Nice little uh, wet bar area here in front of the passenger seat. Uh, center walk through in the windshield out on the foredeck and then a little sliding door giving you access down into the cuddy cabin as well. So really spacious boat. Easily, it's ready to carry 10 people. Um, you'll easily accommodate maybe six or seven passengers in the uh, you know adults in the cockpit with ease. And the condition, as I said, it, it almost looks like new. This thing is a real credit to your owner, it has been meticulously kept and it's in fabulous order throughout. There's a really nice helm position on the boat. Um, first of all, we get a great comfortable uh, helm seat, wraparound bucket style seat, fully adjustable fore and after for height. You get clear visibility through the screen. Throttle shift lever, falls easily to hand over here, the right hand side. She's on plane super quickly, um, runs right up to around about 40 miles an hour. From memory, we were seeing around about 40 miles an hour. It'll cruise all day very economically at around about 25 miles an hour. So great performing boat. With that Yanmar diesel engine as well, it's gonna sip fuel. You can run it in red or green diesel. Um, it's gonna be very economical. This is a fantastic cuddy cabin. Um, we used to sell a Rinker 230, which was our most popular boat whenever we were dealers for Rinker. And the reason for that was the cabin was very similar to this. It was a 23 foot boat, but with a proper cabin you can sit in. There's a table that goes in here. Um, you can, uh, well, either or, one of the two cockpit tables uh, can fit in there, so you can, everybody can sit down here and have a wee bite to eat or something. There's a filler cushion that fills this area in and makes it up into a proper big wide double berth, um, so you could easily sleep a couple of people on the boat, there's room out in the cockpit then with a sun lounger in place for maybe another couple of kids. You've got a proper backrest all the way around it, you could sit in headroom right up to the front, um, and it's just a really well appointed cabin. So. Engine access on the boat is really straightforward. You don't have to move any seats or anything out of the way. Just pull this handle up and this uh, hatch opens on two gas struts. So you get really good access around this Yanmar four-cylinder 240 horsepower turbo diesel engine. 
If you have an interest in this Chaparral 235 SSI with that Yanmar diesel engine, then the best way to find out more about it is by signing up for VIP access on our website at GulfstreamBoatSales.com. All you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at GulfstreamBoatSales.com and you can get VIP access which is completely free. Once you've signed in, then navigate back to the Chaparral 235 page and you can watch our full length video tour. We're going to go through the whole boat in more detail. You get a really good look around the engine bay. We'll show you in all the, the, the sort of cupboards and compartments and storage areas. You can also watch the full extent of the water test videos that we have at this boat. So that's by signing up for VIP access at GulfstreamBoatSales.com. If you like the video and you want to be kept up to date as we put new stock online, put new video tours online, the best way to do that is by subscribing to the YouTube, YouTube channel. So if you click subscribe, and then if you set your notifications to give you an alert every time we put a video up, you'll be the first to find out about any new stocks as it uh, goes on live on the market. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you find it useful.